wondered why sometimes you're laying in bed and you just can't fall asleep because your brain is thinking too much or you fall asleep and you shouldn't be like in a class and then the teacher is boring you. That's because of all the different brain frequencies that are going on in your brain. Today I'm going to talk to you about four of these brain frequencies, starting with delta. The delta brain waves are the slowest brain waves in our brain. Uh, they range from around one to four cycles a second, which means they make one to four cycles every second. But they never go down to completely zero, uh, but the deep dreamless state when you're sleeping is when you have the lowest frequencies, which is around two to three cycles a second. Um, faster than this, the next frequency is theta. So theta waves range uh, from around five to eight cycles a second. Uh, so they are faster than the delta waves, but they have less amplitude. So fewer neurons at a time are producing this brain wave. The theta wave is, um, you know, sometimes when you're driving down a road, a normal route that you take, when you kind of zone out and can't remember the last five miles, that's when your brain is in theta state. Or when you start daydreaming, um, that's when your brain is in theta state. Uh, this is also when you get sometimes the most creative ideas uh, or you get into the flow state. Um, I'm sure you know of the saying that sometimes you get the best ideas in the shower. Because that's when you're doing something so normal and routine that your brain actually has time to wander and come up with cool, creative ideas. The next brain wave, um, faster frequency, is the alpha brain waves. That goes from around 9 to 12 hertz. Uh, that's 9 to 12 cycles a second. Uh, the alpha wave is active when you have just finished a task and now you're resting. So maybe you just made a presentation and now you're just relaxing. The state of relaxed awareness is when you are in alpha state. And the next one is beta waves. The beta waves are one of the fastest frequencies in our brain. So anyone who is heavily engaged in any task, uh, like a talk show host or a debater, or me right now, I'm in beta state. That's your alert, awake, conscious state. Anyone having any intelligent conversations or a student taking a test, they would be in beta waves. The beta waves are the fastest waves. They range from around 15 to 40 cycles a second. What happens in a person with anxiety or rumination is that they are unable to turn off their beta activities. That means their brain is running overactive all the time, even when they shouldn't be. So for example, if an anxious person is trying to go to bed, normally a person who's not anxious goes from beta, eventually they go to alpha when they're just relaxing, they put their book away, and when they close their eyes, soon they go into theta, and eventually they go into delta and fall asleep. However, for a person with a lot of anxiety, they kind of get stuck in the beta waves and it's very difficult for them to move from beta to alpha to delta. And that's why they have trouble sleeping. So I hope you guys have had a good understanding of what happens in the different brain waves, what's going on in your brain, what kind of issues it can trigger, and uh, follow our channel to know what we can do to solve these issues.